Good afternoon, Billy. Hello, Stuart. Um, just wanted to ask a few questions. People have left some questions. They've emailed me and they've left some questions up in the billyboy.net site. Oh, mm, have they? Yes, they have. <laughs> and uh, one of the questions that have been asked is that, who would you have liked to have played in Lord of the Rings? If you couldn't have played Pippin, uh -huh. for whatever reason, you had to pick, you, could, you had photographs of Mr Jackson in a compromising position and you said, <laughs> I want to play this person. Who, who would you have liked to have played in the film? Oh, Gandalf. Gandalf. Oh, I'd have grown a big beard. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, there's so many great characters. That's a, I think that's what makes the, the book and hopefully the film so interesting. But um, off the top of my head, Frodo, of course, because uh, he's the ring bearer. He's got a, such a, a huge kind of burden, and it's always interesting to play characters like that who have something always subconsciously working on them. As, as you know, like in Macbeth, that kind of once he's killed, how that then eats away at you. Stuff like that is is always incredibly interesting. But um, you know, Legolas, if you just want to be the coolest man that ever lived. Legolas is a good way to go, mm -hmm. and uh, Aragorn, if you're just the strongest oh, man, yeah, you know. He's got a big sword, haven't he? Exactly. And um, I remember um, working with Bob Anderson, who's the the sword master, uh, who did an incredible job in in making sure that all the different races had different sword styles and all that. And he said, after working for, I, I don't know how long he's worked in films now. I mean, he trained Errol Flynn, so he's worked in films for a long time. And he said he wanted Aragorn to be the greatest swordsman that has ever been seen on film. And when he said that, I thought, oh my wow. God, that is so cool. Yeah. So there's moves that Aragorn has that no one else can do kind of thing. You know, things like that are just so classy. But I think, if, I mean, it sounds kind of, um, kind of made up, but really Pippin is who I would have chose to play. I Just the... His um, arc through the movies, how he matures and where he starts in the movie. I just, I just like who Pippin is, and if you're going to spend a year and a half playing a character, then it's it's a nice place to start if you actually like him. And I like Pippin. I think he's a, he's a he's a great character with a lot of great stuff to do in the story. So moving on from Lord of the Rings, is, mm. there, is there any other character in any other book um, that can I? You know, you've read and you went, I wouldn't mind maybe one day in the future. Tackling that? Yeah. Um, you mentioned Macbeth. And yeah, well, and another sort of character like that is uh, the book of Crime and Punishment, uh, Dostoevsky. His, his character, the name escapes me. Oh, I can't remember. But that, he, he kills through almost necessity. He's starving. And, and how that murder and how... Uh, because of our morality and well human nature, how that affects him is um, is incredible. And, and playing something that is so big, because you would hope you know you never have to experience something like murder, but to be able to try and get into someone's mind who has done something like that, I think is is really interesting. And I always find characters who aren't your normal kind of middle of the road. Um, romantic lead or anything. I always find characters that are slightly off centre more interesting. So you kind of, I mean obviously to keep it interesting for you, you're looking for a character who's not nothing like you. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. You know, um, I, I played a character once with Asperger's Syndrome, which is a kind of mild form of autism. And it's, it's really interesting because I, through my um, research to play this character, I met um, a, a young man with Asperger's. And just talking to him and it's and how that affects his world because he lives in a society that's built up through what we think of as, as normality. So his quirks and his way that he has to live his life, which a lot of which is um, um, uh, behaviour that uh, repetitive behaviour. He, he has to do a certain thing in his house, has to get through a certain system before he can leave the house. And to him, that's perfectly normal. But to us, it's like, oh, that's mm. slightly weird. So try to get in, into how other people see the world, I think, is really interesting. I think that's what makes acting interesting, I think. Uh, what's your favourite colour? Blue. Uh, what, in Lord of the Rings, what's the kind of... Uh, 
Well, obviously, it was. It was. <laughs> I just had to get it out of the way. Um, <laughs> what, what's in Lord of the Rings? What's your favourite scene in the book? Eh, uh, oh, so many. Um, in the book, I love the stuff with um, Frodo and Sam and Shelob, the spider. I just think that's amazing, this kind of... Um, and, and Golem, kind of. Um, well, there's another great character I wouldn't mind playing. Um, Golem, fantastic. But Andy Serkis is... Uh, he does things with his voice that's just amazing. You, you, you've no idea. Wait till you see it, that's incredible. But that'd be a great character. But anyway, yeah, uh, Shelob, this, the scenes with Shelob, Frodo and uh, Sam, I think, is pretty incredible writing. Right. And so, and what was your favourite scene to film? Because obviously it's two different... Oh, right, yeah. You know, two different kind of things, but reading the uh -huh. book and then filming the book. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. Um, again, so, so many different things that are kind of in my mind at the moment. I mean, all the stuff I filmed with Dom is, is always a treat because we we hit it off so well that, and we totally understood each other's um, sense of humour. That when we that sort of that kind of comes across in the picture of the fireworks. All right, yeah. Where you two are just kind of what a all laugh that was. Up. Yeah. Honestly, you've you've no idea the the fun that we had with our makeup artists that day. It looks it. it Every looks like a great time. They were just like, do you think that's enough? Me and Dom are like, more. <laughs> Bigger hair, we want more. <laughs> uh, no, it was great fun, and we had such a laugh that day. And and everyone just wanted photos of uh, you know of me and Dom. That, and and you know so things like that that in the book might have not been a a big chapter or a big thing, but as a memory of the film, that stuff is just fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you again, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more later. Oh, thanks, John.